Author's Note, this video is my review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Based on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows was directed by Dave Green, published by Paramount Pictures, Nickelodeon, and Michael Bay, and starring Pete Plosek, Alan Richson, Noel Fisher, and Jeremy Howard with Megan Fox as April O'Neil. <laughs> Dude, bring him back the Mohawk! Good for you. Oh, oh y'all got jokes, huh? <clears throat> Zack Snyder, Michael Bay, and director Dave Green has put you on notice. While I did enjoy the previous Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film, I noticed something was a bit off, like it was missing something that I really enjoyed about the Turtles. Thankfully, this film does carry what the first film missed out on. The Ninja Turtles actually have a bigger focus compared to the previous film, where April had too much of the focus. Their own personal conflicts with each other are what kept them interesting. Though if you ask me, Raphael is still my favorite turtle since taking a re-interest in turtle power. And speaking of turtle power, this film is much more down to earth, bringing in elements from the 1987 cartoons such as Rocksteady and Bebop, and even the evil brain from Dimension X, Krang. Granted, this is a very juvenile film, but then again, it doesn't have to take itself seriously like Batman vs Superman tried to be. Actually, I really like this version of Bebop and Rock City. There's still a couple of gross dimwits, but they at least proved to be more competent villains as they were a bigger threat to the Turtles. Though I kinda wish they took on the Turtles a second time in the filming, what a pity. My only beef with the film was that Splinter, Karai, and Shredder weren't used as much as the last film. Splinter took a backseat to the Turtles' own storyline, and we don't see Shredder or Karai take on the Turtles. Maybe in the third movie we'll see them do so. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows feels more like a love letter to anyone who enjoyed the 1987 cartoon series. It's a much lighter and wackier turtle show that doesn't take itself too seriously. And in fact, I'd say it might as well be the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film ever. And by the way, I think Michael Bay would have done a better job on Batman vs Superman Donna Justice over Zack Snyder. I mean, if Snyder got his hands on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it would have been too confusing and edgy and over serious for its own good. Oh well, cowabunga to the Turtles for a great film. You still couldn't resist ripping Zack Snyder, could ya? Yep, it's gonna go on till I get bored. <laughs>